I'll just now start taking measurements on this wall where the electric fireplace is gonna be going. So tomorrow it will start. I will make sure I record everything and save it to highlights. Now this is our first time we've ever done this. So forgive us, I'm just warning you now. This will pretty soon be a very cute fireplace with a mantle. For our bedroom, I went with a longer, skinnier fireplace because our ceilings are only eight foot tall in the bedroom. So I'm hoping not to have to have my TV up really high because our TV in here is 65 inches. So the wall is going to be eight. I think he said either 80 or 84 inches. I will let you guys know for sure tomorrow. 80 or 84 inches long. And then the insert is 50 inches wide, but it's not very tall. Hopefully what I'm thinking it's going to look like will work and we don't have to have our TV mounted up towards the ceiling, like that close to the ceiling. I mean, it will be, I feel like it's going to be up higher by about six inches. We'll see. Starting on the fireplace here shortly, I will give you the total cost of everything. The only part that we're going to hire out is whenever we need to have the fireplace wall textured. That will be the one part that we will hire out because I don't feel like I'm good enough to be able to do it the way that we want it done. So I think it should be pretty inexpensive. Like the insert was 400 and then Rob is um, adding up all of the supplies and how much that's going to cost. All right. First thing Rob's doing is measuring the middle of this wall here and finding the center point. And he wants it exact. I'm like, no, it looks good. No, not good enough. All right, Rob drew out the wall and what it's going, going to look like. It's probably kind of hard to see the pencil marks, but this is what we're doing. So the fireplace insert is going to be 12 inches from the ground. And that's the fireplace insert. And then there's 11 inches to the bottom of the mantle. From the, man the mantle is going to be seven inches there's going to be a six inch gap between the top of the mantle and where the TV is. And the TV is so big, this is going to be the top of the TV, but that is as good as we can get it. And I think it's still going to look great. And we'll be able to see the fire from our bed. Bob and John out, Jono are now going to start building the wall out, which we're going to come 12 inches off the existing wall and frame it all up. Hopefully this part goes fast. I have no clue. Bob added up how much materials cost and it's so great. $265. That includes the wood for the mantle, the sheetrock, the wood to build the wall. So right now we're at what, $665. And then we'll have to tack on however much it's going to cost to have someone do the texture on it once the wall's up. I think that's a pretty, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, that's going to make a huge difference in here. How far we are right now because... You see that stuff right there? We had to move that, not we. I say we. Rob had to move all this stuff in here. And then that will not be there anymore. So it has a cleaner look. That's what happened. Update before I start getting ready. So Rob put the TV up there just to get an idea. And at first I was like, oh my gosh, the TV is so high. But then I reminded myself it's going to be balanced out here because he did actually put that in there. And this doesn't have the face plate on it yet. So it was in there that I was trying to imagine my mantle, which is going to go all the way across this spot here. And it will end up balancing out the TV. Or I'm at least hoping so. Because Rob does not want to get a smaller TV. He likes having a giant TV in the bedroom. <laughs> we shall see. I have faith. It's going to look good, though. <laughs> okay, explain this box thing here. So all the... I'd rather just show it. Let me get it ready, and I'll show it to you, okay? Oh, okay. This is like Rob's invention. Rob's invention right here. You're so good. I know. <laughs> Rob, it is looking so good. Let me show you the box that Rob did, because we need it. this thing, which is... Ooh, what one just did? It's a bigger item and everything else to be hidden. So that's why that box was made. It's going to all be behind the TV. Yeah, that will be covered by the TV. And he is doing what he's doing now. So then tomorrow, when Jeremy 
<laughs> what? <laughs> the texture person comes and does this, it will make it a quicker process. It'll make it cheaper is what I'm concerned <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Yes, it will make it cheaper also. not done a fireplace update in a few days so here it is so far we're at the point of now rob's been texturing it and then letting it dry and then texture let it dry which that part is boring but today i am which i've already started a little bit i'm going to start sanding the texture down so then it's not real rough we want it smoother than that so that's what's going to happen and then paint 